Welcome to Hangar Talk, a video series of flying tips, comments, and anecdotes that promote airmanship, the artistry of flying with stick and rudder. If you want to become a great flyer, a good stick, there are only two fundamental skills to master. Do not stall and control yaw. Hanger Talk is committed to teaching those fundamentals and to flying for fun, flying with style, and flying safely. Turning an airplane is not like turning an automobile or a boat. Lift turns an airplane. Lift acts perpendicular to the wing and holds the airplane against gravity. However, in a bank relative to the horizon, there are two lift components, or force vectors. The vertical component holds the airplane against gravity, and the horizontal component of lift pushes the airplane through a turn or change of direction. Because there is less vertical lift in a turn relative to the wing's level flight, the angle of attack must be increased in the turn to maintain enough vertical lift to hold the initial altitude during the turn. The pilot deflects the elevator upward to increase the angle of attack. Therefore, the airspeed will slow slightly when the airplane is in a level turn. If lift actually turns an airplane, then what is the purpose of the rudder in turning an airplane? During a turn, the rudder is used to control adverse yaw. When an aileron is deflected downward, to initiate a turn, it creates additional lift on one wing. The additional lift creates drag that will rotate the airplane on its vertical axis opposite the direction of the roll. To illustrate, look at this sight picture from straight and level flight. The nose is well below the horizon prior to rolling into a turn. The tape on the windscreen is seen aligned with the horizon. Roll into a bank with ailerons only and the nose will rotate on the vertical axis opposite to the direction of the roll. That motion is called adverse yaw. This photo shows the subsequent sight picture. The airplane has rotated on its vertical axis to the right, causing the nose to rise as seen against the horizon. The tape on the windscreen is seen above the horizon. Now we look at a turn without adverse yaw. Starting from straight and level, note the sight picture. The nose is well below the horizon. The tape on the windscreen is seen aligned on the horizon. Roll into a turn with aileron and use rudder to control the adverse yaw. At the desired degree of bank, move ailerons and rudder to neutral. The horizontal component of lift will push the airplane through a turn, a change of direction. The nose will hold its position below the horizon. Work on flying turns to become a better stick and rudder pilot. In a level turn, use rudder with ailerons together when rolling into and out of a level turn. Hold ailerons and rudder neutral through the turn. Remember that lift is pushing the airplane through the turn. Apply gentle up pressure on the elevator to hold altitude. The nose should hold its position relative to the horizon. The bank angle should remain constant. 
If you enjoyed the show, please tell your friends. You can enjoy monthly postings of Hangar Talk on my website, dylanaviation.com. Please consider my books and DVDs for yourself, and especially as a gift for low time or student pilots. These items are available on my website or directly from Amazon.com. Thank you for watching. Until next time, this is Jim also reminding you, fly high, have fun, and keep the blue on top.